Maine State Librarian Linda Lord knows every corner of this building. Our newest books are on these shelves. We have a news nook, which we think is pretty special. And she wants the rest of us to know it too. Everything the Maine State Library has to offer. Our tour with Linda begins in the Remaker Room. The three things that people can do in here, transferring the VHS tapes to DVD, transferring LP records to CDs, and scanning and unfloating material. The newest addition here, a MakerBot 3D printer that arrived in October. Staffer Becky Labonte has adopted it. When they brought the, the cartons through the hallway, I saw a MakerBot symbol and I'm like, <gasps> MakerBot. <laughs> I was so excited. Labonte is learning all about the MakerBot. It can scan an object and replicate it. Or Becky can choose a design from an open source online service, like this turkey. You call it up, you ask it to prepare it, it'll put it on your MakerBot platform, and you ask it to print. Not far away from here, in the news nook, there's a television set to CNN. There's no other place that I'm aware of on the Capitol complex where people can watch live news on a television monitor. And in the corner, a closet filled with priceless Maine history. This is the pa Percival Baxter collection. And so there are just dozens and dozens of these, all with fun stuff. Peggy O'Kane oversees the special collections at the Maine State Library, including Governor Baxter's personal scrapbooks, first editions of important books such as Uncle Tom's Cabin and the Book of Mormon, books inscribed by authors, this one by E.B. White, and one extraordinary diary written on handmade paper. We don't even touch it. In tiny script. This diary, written... 1785 to 1800, and there's another volume, is the basis of the midwife's tale. Martha Ballard lived in Hallowell and kept a diary that included information on what she was doing, what patients she was seeing, what her family was doing, and wrote it all down. Here at the library, Peggy also takes care of the largest genealogy collection north of Boston. We love family genealogy here, and when somebody creates something, if they want to give it to us, we'll keep it. Check out this elaborate family tree. It's downright beautiful. Roger Toothaker, who was lived 1612 to 1638, if you're one of his descendants and want to come see it, <laughs> you can. <laughs> The Maine State Library has lots of projects underway. One, to scan all state documents and digitize them. It's actually very easy to do. Institutional Repository Manager Adam Fisher demonstrates. We take a scan of the cover, and that'll show up right here on our screen. And while it's doing this, it's actually reading the text. So it's taking an image, and it's, and it's taking the text out of that image and actually creating a text layer that sits underneath the image so that um, people who have uh, disabilities and need to use a screen reader, the text can be searched that way. It can also be accessed, uh, accessed by search engines. Another project, the Maine State Library Petting Zoo. And this is real Maine ingenuity. Jared Ledbetter and Janet McKenney pack iPads and Androids and other devices into this foam-packed case and travel to libraries throughout Maine so that people can try them. The real purpose behind the zoo is to help people get over their fear. From where he stood on the wide veranda, he could see the hull slapping every second ground swell with what he knew must sound like pistol shots. And in a recording studio in the basement of the library, volunteers and staff produce audiobooks for the visually impaired and provide players to those who need them. If they have a disability that prevents them from being able to use regular print. Uh, they can receive one of these players for free and they can keep it as long as they need to use it. Chris Boynton demonstrates. Chapter one, the proposal. Father Timothy Cavanaugh stood at the stone wall on the ridge above Mitford, watching the deepening blush of a late June sunset. Linda Lord may be stepping down from her job, but her love for this place is not going anywhere. I want the people of Maine to know that this is their library. Anybody who is a resident of the state of Maine can come get a library card. 
this library belongs to the people of the state of Maine and we are delighted to talk about what we can do for all people of Maine and how we help all Maine libraries.